So, hello again, and I've been um, fussing with it some more. And the one thing that I usually do before um, fussing with this much um, is if, if you're out there, you can guess what I have neglected to do so far, and that is ears. I really haven't kind of marked them off originally, and I was going to put some just lumps of clay there. Usually what I do is put some lumps of clay um, to kind of start it off. Um, but I haven't done it yet. I just got playing with the uh, face, and then I was like, oh, yeah, that's why it looks weird. So it's good to kind of at least get some lumps of clay on there so that it's not kind of odd-looking um, and throw you off. Um, so anyway, we can use our handy-dandy draw runs. And because we we could measure up from the mouth or down across from the brow, um, but since we have this base, well, we'll kind of, we'll start with there and see if it lines up. So it's sort of, the bottom of the ear is kind of, although that line's a little tilted, is just about the top lip, top of the top lip kind of thing, Benola nose. Benola nose? Benola, never mind. see just about the brow okay which is where about where we're falling so if you weren't measuring usually it's about kind of the brow to sort of the um top of top lip top of top lip although my picture seems to be I might extend them down if they look weird if they look too one thing and then I can also like probably adjust that jawline now the danger in doing and forgetting to do this earlier when you just put a block in there when you're blocking it out is that I've been working on it without that reference of the ear and I might put this on and realize something else is off so it's a good idea to have done this sooner that this line would be um, and sometimes they can take and kind of follow this across and we'll just measure right now. Depends on what kind of situation. What situ what kind of situation? What's my situation? What's the situation I'm in, so to speak? So I'll go back. And I kinda of, I wanna make sure that this isn't like crooked like I wanna kinda of make it as perpendicular. Perpendicular, something like that. if I can do it and probably not not at an angle um, no. just putting that on there not getting too fussy with it and then once I do that I kind of want to look at it from the front and see where they fall I don't got no hair or anything on this character right now. I mean, right now. Um, so it is sort of, I'm going to look at them from the front and see if they help at all. Um, my ears stick out more than that. So, and it's, if you look at them, it's part of the ear. And look at the ear. Um, your ear that sticks out is not the back edge necessarily, but that inner. See it here? No, I scribbled all over it. Um, that inside piece kind of comes out some, a bit more. Um, but these, my ears stick out more than what I've got on here, so let's get, stick them out. Kind of hard to tell. Well, that may me involve me saying, well, maybe that was too. And this behind it needs to build up some more. And I'll kind of say, okay, I'll fudge that by adding it in around the ear.
All right, so we've got sort of a got it sort of position, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but we'll see what goes on. Um, and I'm going to work on doing this ear here and doing a little bit more detail in it. Now, for sometimes what I do, I just leave it. Um, I don't really care. Um, sort of the way it looks, I really like just having a simple kind of form as the ear. So I want to think about this round shape. It's not exactly, I know I said C before, but if you look at it, it's kind of, it's a little bit different than a C. It kind of comes straight here a little bit. So you can kind of look at, there's almost like a little bend right there. Um, and on me, although, you know, in your ears, sorry, I'm being generic, but your ears might look different. Um, that's okay. But I'm looking at it from a distance. Every now and then it's good to back up. It's we're looking at things really close. Um, it's very hard to see what's going on. It's a good idea to back up from your head and look at it. And I want to measure later on and kind of go from here and see how many ears, see if it's too small going that way because it looks a little bit too small. Maybe I'm look at it from this direction too and see how much this is coming out from behind that piece. That's something always, for my ears anyway. Um, I can see that this flows back in here and I've got it more, more harsher there than... Some of what also can help is taking a... Because we have these cameras, um, you know, digital cameras are great for changing drum brakes um, and uh, working on ears because you can take a picture of that ear and then look at it and you can reverse it. Now the other way, if you don't have, say, you have a reverse picture to look at, now I've got to turn it and now i got to do that ear with this reversed and I could probably figure that out. But the other thing you do is if you have a mirror, that's it. I can prop it up, but I can get that ear so that I can look at it in the mirror. So I can look at this, work on this ear as I look at that ear over there. Okay, so that can be helpful. Or not. 